Hi, I'm Burke Goldstein, director of Wharton Center's Institute for Arts and Creativity. And what you're about to see is a video that documents a dance residency between the Inlet Dance Company of Cleveland, Ohio, and the dance program at Everett High School in Lansing. The project is called the I Am Project. Now, Wharton Center and the Institute chose this project because of our commitment to serve under-resourced communities in the arts and to empower people to utilize their own creativity for their own personal growth. It's a full expression of our work in diversity, equity, and inclusion. Now, why do we choose Inlet Dance Theater for this project? Well, I've worked with Inlet in the past, and they are an incredibly innovative, forward-thinking company with a unique perspective on dance. They also have an uncanny ability to work with young people and to bring the power of dance to young people especially young people in under-resourced communities. Also, I know Bill Wade, the company's artistic director. And again, he's an extremely talented individual with a lot of great insight that I know that these kids would benefit from. And that's exactly what happened. He brings inspiring ideas and Bill brings a tremendous energy to his work. So we were privileged to work with him once again on the I Am Project. Hi. My name is Bill Wade. I'm the founder and the executive artistic director of Inlet Dance Theater located here in Cleveland, Ohio. As Bert just mentioned, we've just completed a six week virtual residency with the dance department at Everett High School in Lansing, Michigan. This summer, I worked on a project with my dancers at Inlet Dance Theater because we were not able to rehearse together and we couldn't do anything. So we're trying to create the, the new normal. Um, and I created this project called the I Am Project that's based on a great deal of reflection of what was going on before the pandemic hit, or I was something, um, where I am now and how I'm feeling about that now. But then also thinking based on that information proactively about what, what the future might hold. So when Bert asked me to do this with the kids, I thought this is the project that we're going to do with these kids. And I'm really, really glad that we decided to do that. We have found that this process has been very transforming. It's been very life-giving and it's provided a, a glimmer of hope because like the company over the summer, the students aren't able to get into their studios still. But this gave them an opportunity to experience being a choreographer also the performer, but also write written word and then experience doing voiceover work with spoken word and put all of those things together. I think you're going to find the results are quite amazing. I present to you dancers from the Everett High School's dance department showing you their I Am Project. We are strong. We are thriving. We will be strong. We will be COVID free. <laughs> we were anxious. We are resilient. We will be brave. We will be brave. And stand strong. And stand strong. I am.
I was productive and optimistic. The change was difficult and abrupt, something I had never experienced before. I am tired and stressed. Times have been tough, but I keep pushing through. I will be strong and open-minded. I am taking it all in. Things are looking up. I am satisfied with where I am going, but I am not there yet. I will be strong and open-minded. I am. I was productive and confident. I am twisted and energetic. I will be more open-minded and sassy. I am becoming a new me. I am. I was confused about who I was. I didn't know what to be, I didn't know who to be, and I didn't know me. I am slowly creating new paths for myself, taking different directions to find who I truly am. I will be growing and developing with every step. I was trying to be somebody else, so I was pulled into the society belt, unable to get out, because I was trying to be somebody else. I'm learning and growing from experiences, and with that persistence I am getting out. I made my own lane and started to separate from my pain, because I am learning and growing from my experiences. I will be complete. No more demons will lurk in the shadows. I will be out. I will be complete. I am beautiful in my skin, 
I was pulled down but made my way back up. I will open up a new mindset, push past my fears, pick up my confidence, and be successful. I am. I am scared and nervous. I'm scared to open up and show everyone how I am. Scared to go outside the box. Nervous to open my mouth, say something weird. Someone looking at me and thinking, who is she? Scared to say hi. Nervous I would trip and fall, never being able to get back up. I was overwhelmed. I built up these emotions, hiding them, not letting them go. Walking around with a shell on my back to go back into when I'm not ready. I was overwhelmed, but ready to change. Ready to change that I'm not that shy girl anymore. Ready to show people the real me, not faking it. I will be successful in life. I will be someone, an inspiration, success. Like happiness, it's more than a destination. Traveling around to see what else comes. The greatest failure is the failure to try. Making mistakes is part of our journey. I put a crown on my head, walking bright and strong. I am. I was tired. I am trying my best. I will be optimistic. I am. No longer crushing on sorry. I'm on the jammy soccer. I was lost, trying to be someone else. I was afraid to ask for help. I am holding on. I am on the path to finding myself. I am not giving up. I will be consistent within myself. I will be confident. 
I will open my eyes. I will smile. I am accepting myself because if I don't accept myself, who will? I am myself. It took me a long time to realize that being myself is better than being anybody else. I am overcoming all of my obstacles in life and all of my hardships as well. I am. I was prepared as confident as a queen with her crown. Inspired by some of the rush and fame of the world. Overall, I was finally happy. I wasn't haunted by the stress and feeling of worry, the thought of being alone, afraid to even take a step. All of it was gone. I felt as I could do anything. I wanted to try everything. I was overwhelmed. Overwhelmed by the frustration, the anxiety, the feeling of failure. But I flow. I flow with the trees and the leaves that fall from them. I flow with the wind as it passes through the grass. I will be better, a better person, a better me. I will achieve success in life and smile back at the people who told me that I couldn't. I will be something big. As a young woman, I must be aware of the people and the things that surround me in this world and in this life. Thank you so much for joining us today. Whether you're tuning in on Saturday, December 5th, 2020, or you're watching this at a later date, we are so grateful that you are here supporting the arts, supporting Everett Dance, supporting the Wharton Center, and supporting Inlet Dance Theater and all of our projects and our partnerships together. My name is Clara Martinez, and I have the privilege and the honor of getting to serve as the dance director at Everett High School for the Visual and Performing Arts right here in Lansing, Michigan. There's so much that I could talk about and go on and on about how amazing this project has been, but I'm trying to just keep it to three specific things that I'm grateful for that I've been able to take away from this project. And then I'm gonna turn it over to the dancers to say a few words about what this project meant to them and what they are going to carry forward from it in the future. One, Inlet Dance Theater. They're an amazing team of artists, individuals. They're funny. We laugh. We've learned so much from them. I'm sure they've learned so much from us. And it is just great to know that there's a group of performers, 
performing artists, choreographers that are also really sound pedagogically and they're really great dance and arts educators. I have had many different guest artists come to Everett. I've worked with guest artists as a professional choreographer and a professional dancer and growing up as a dancer my whole life. And I must say that Inlet Dance is the best of the best. They are so thoughtful. They are clear in their intent and their direction and even their mission statement. They want to use dance to better serve and uplift people, not just make people into dancers. We have actually gotten to begin the process of planning a trip to go see um, Inlet Dance after the whole pandemic is over. Everett Dance Boosters are busy away working on um, a master plan with Bill and his team to get us there. So now, even though this has come up through the pandemic that we are working through, trying to figure out creative ways to partner and to um, perform, now we have this new partnership that is going to build into something bigger. We're actually gonna go see Inlet in person and we would love your support from that project as well. The second thing that I love so much about this project is Hearing the dancers' voices, I truly believe that it will be students that change the world for better. And I want each and every one of you to know. You mean so much to me. And it's been a pleasure and an honor to see you grow during this time. The third thing. <laughs> that I love so much about this project is that it gives me hope. Me as an individual, it's given me hope to know that the work will always continue. And there will always be people that are willing to stand up and fight for arts and arts education. And that inspires me to keep moving forward because we all know how powerful the student voice is, and how imperative and vital it is to the future of our country. I hope to hear from some students and what they found valuable about this project now. Wow, this is really sad that this is ending, but uh, I just want to say thank you so much, Inlet, for doing this for us. Also, Ms. Martinez, for putting this together. Um, also, I just want to thank Kate, Katie and Stephanie. You, also, Bill, you are so amazing and a, and a great person and also helping us out as well. Um, it was really great to step out of our um, box and do something else other than hip hop and also helping me progress and do something different. Thank you. This was super rewarding, very welcoming and warm. And everybody was so nice. Thank you. Wow. This was such an incredible experience to have, you know, working with Inlet. They've really helped me a lot come out of my shell and made me think a lot about who I am and who I was and who I want to be. And it's, it's so incredible. I love how you helped me come out of my comfort zone a little bit because I don't usually dance in front of people or like let other people see my dances because like I'm a shy person and I just think like oh they might judge me how I dance or but you guys show me that that's not what you're there to do you're there to help us during this project I just wish we could have did this in person and not over camera but you know things happen for a reason and maybe in the future we can meet up in person and actually do this together and not have to worry about this little pandemic really what i've learned from this was that we are all different we are all different people and our styles of dance are different we're different um from the outside and the inside and basically just as people i've never seen any of us like actually bring out our own style of dance and it's really helped us grow um as dancers my name is Sydney Lata. I am a 2018 Everett grad. I spent four years in the dance company there and now I attend The Ohio State University. I am getting my BFA in dance along with a minor in video arts. Uh, I have also had the privilege to work with Inlet when I was in high school through the Wharton Center's program. Um, and yeah, I, I got the opportunity to sit in on uh, this collaboration with Everett Dance and Inlet and I just want to say that I am so 
proud of these dancers. Uh, they really are getting a leg up in the dance world and in uh, life. They're learning how to use their voice. They're learning to share with each other uh, what they see, articulate how a person's choreography made them feel or what it reminded them of. And these are really advanced things. These are things that I'm still working on. These are tools that I'm still gaining while I'm in uh, my third year um, in college. Uh, I think uh, Inlet was a great company for the Wharton Center to bring on. Uh, they are a company that uh, continues to challenge what it means to be a dancer and uh, what a dancer can do. And I've seen that they've combat um, social issues on stage in the most extraordinary and um, inspiring ways. And I hope that these Everett dancers, after this collaboration, uh, find ways to keep pushing boundaries and share their voice with the world, whether they take dance to the next level like I did, or they just find ways to uh, infuse arts into their daily lives with whatever career path they take. Really, really great job, dancers. Thank you so much, not only for your physical movement, but for your beautiful words as well. It really means the world to me to be a part of something where I can watch people grow. So thank you so much um, for your vulnerability inside of that. I would really like to thank my director, Bill, for putting me on this project. I don't know anyone else who has an opportunity like this, <laughs> um, especially during these times, especially during COVID when no one really has a whole lot of certainty. It was such a nice thing to be able to have this project. It really kept me going and kept me positive. This opportunity to work on the I Am Project with the dancers at Everett High School has been wildly encouraging on a number of levels. Uh, one, it's so great to see the students grow in their craft and to really be able to to witness that in real time. It's also been encouraging for me in my practice to see how other people take this movement prompt. There's endless, countless ways to use this simple choreographic prompt to communicate how you are processing what's going on right now and really give uh, your viewer a window into who you are as a person. And so being able to get to know these students in that way in order to elevate their work, in order to uh, create something really special for them during a season when so much has been taken away. And so I'm just really grateful to be able to do that and to work with the rest of the Inlet crew in order to pour into these students' lives. I want to send a special thanks to Ms. Clara Martinez. Ms. Martinez. Thank you, Ms. Martinez. Ms. Clara Martinez. Clara Martinez, you are a rock star. The extra work and effort that you have done to make this successful has not gone unnoticed. We are blown away and we're extremely happy that we're going to continue this relationship with you and all of the students. That's what's up. I have a few shout outs that I need to give. I want to give a special shout out to April Clothes and Glenn Brow for supporting this project and helping it get off the ground. It means so much that there are people that are willing to step up and support arts education, not only in general, but specifically during these really challenging times. Thank you so much. I also wanna give a special shout out to Bill Wade and his amazing team at Inlet Dance Theater in Cleveland. So Bill, Katie Kay, Stephanie, and Libby, we are so thankful for you and this amazing journey we've been on. Last but certainly not least, I have to give a shout out to Bert Goldstein because he is the mastermind behind this project. Thank you to anyone <laughs> um, who has pushed any of this project and anything for Everett Dance forward. Um, thank you. So thank you for joining us to watch these students and their work and to hear their feedback about their experiences. I'm super grateful to Bert Goldstein from the Wharton Center's Institute for Arts and Creativity. I'm also grateful to Lansing School District and particularly, obviously, Everett High School and Clara Martinez and the dance department and all of the students and my dancers, Stephanie, who not only helped teach this, but also did all this video editing and then Katie for helping give input and critical response feedback. 
during the whole process. This has been an amazing opportunity. And I've learned from the students and their parents, they would like to continue this opportunity. We're going to be doing several more workshops during the winter and the spring to continue this work and end that with an opportunity for the students to come visit Inlet and our new headquarters here in Cleveland, Ohio. Field trip. Thanks again for watching. Donate. It'll help. <laughs>